It's the uh, 18th of January, 2017, 2016. Phew. Hope that wasn't prophetic. Because it was the 17th yesterday. Um, I had two prophetic visions, they're dream visions. They're not dreams and they're not visions. Like I'm half asleep when I have them. I've had them before like that and I'm sort of half asleep and I have a dream vision it's very clear it's it's not a dream in that things happen sequentially as such it's just a vision of a scene the first one I was lying on my left side about an hour ago about 8am or something like that and I was I saw a big open room like a public room, but there was nobody in it. And uh, there, there was sunshine outside the windows. It, it looked like a, a country airport. It was a clean, airy, sunshiny room. On the ceiling was a, a fairly large clock. It was screwed into the ceiling. It was one of those clocks that you can see from two sides. And it was in the centre of the room. I looked at the clock and I noticed just out of the corner of my eye there was a big washing, there's a big basket of crisp white and pale pink freshly laundered linen. That basket of linen was situated right under the clock. And as I watched the scene, an unseen hand unscrewed the clock from the ceiling and allowed the clock to fall to the floor. But it fell into the basket of clean, crisp white linen. At first I thought, I, I know this is prophetic, this is a vision, but I don't know what it means. And then all of a sudden it came to me, time's up. And the clock fell into and pointed the way to the fresh white linen it means we need to get our garments clean so I pondered that and I shuddered a little but I thought okay and then I turned over onto my right side and closed my eyes and I had another vision a very unconventional one you know how I've been watching a lot of I Dream of Jeannie well, towards the end of the series, which I, I felt it was prophetic the other day. I felt there was something significant about the fact that I'd reached the end of the series at this time because they get married. I saw Jeannie half reclining on a pile of something. It could have been hay. It could have been a pile of clothes. It was a pile of something. But whatever that pile was made out of, it wasn't important. She was reclining there and Major Healy was sitting beside her but turned towards her and kissing her. And something alerted the two of them and they both looked up to where I could see that it was him and her and they were stunned because they'd caught been, been caught being unfaithful because in the series Jeannie was freshly betrothed to Major Nelson. She was betrothed and she was being unfaithful to her husband-to-be. But they were alerted at the last minute. That to me is pretty obvious. A lot of the Bride of Christ has become lax and fallen into sin and fallen into the ways of the world and even gone to sleep and the bride has been unfaithful but God has alerted us in time I just feel that these two visions are for me and for anybody else who will take them on board, they are um, warnings that he's 
time is up. The bridegroom is coming. And in some cases he's going to find his bride being unfaithful. That's the dreams. Any questions? No. What do you think? Do you get any interpretations? Or is it pretty clear? It's pretty clear. Like when you said Major Healy, I thought, why? Why? No. And then you said, why? I thought it was Major Nelson she married. She was. <clears throat> but see, that was a bride to be. Mm. And uh, she, I, at first I thought, no way, she would not be kissing Major Healy. She only had eyes for Major Nelson. Now, God gave me this because she, of all the brides in fiction, brides to be in fiction, she, more than anybody I've ever seen, loved and adored her Major Nelson. She had only eyes for Major Nelson. Major Healy represents the world to me. Right, because he, 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 you're absolutely right. He, um was, you know, basically a good fella, but he was always after this, that, or the other girl. He had a little black book full of names, full of... He was the world. You're absolutely right. Well, other people have been saying, have been sending out warnings that Christians are... Going to sleep. Know, no, they're going back to the world. Yes. So that, that that's that's what it represents to me. Major yes. Healy represents the world. Yeah, absolutely right, because he, of all the people in the show, and while the was the world. And while the bride's waiting... While the bride's waiting. Waiting and getting impatient or just thinking, oh, you know, he's, he's never coming. Or have a little dalliance, you know, because he's not coming yet. Yes. Yeah. Because that was my main thought as I watched this. I thought, no, no, she wouldn't do that. At first I thought, oh, that's Jeannie kissing Major Healy. And then, and then I thought, no, no, she only has eyes for Major Nelson. The pile of linen might be our wedding clothes. Could be. You know, we're dressed in clean white it, linen. It did look more like linen than hay. And it wasn't... Not in the basket in the, in the first the, the first dream. Oh, that's how we... The wedding, basket of linen, That's yeah. definitely... Yeah. But maybe the pile of clothing, because I thought it wasn't really hay, but it's like as if they were making out in a haystack, but it wasn't hay. It was like a pile of clothing or pile of something, oh. and they it was soiled. It was not clean. Had dirty clothes. I'd say so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd say so, but it, that didn't seem important, but maybe it is. Because I did see it look like a pile of clothing, a big I'll pile rec- of clothing. I reckon the basket of linen in the first dream was definitely, no doubt. definitely that our, was, our garments. It was crisp, crisp, really dry, crisp, freshly laundered. It wasn't ironed yet, but it looked like it had been ironed because it had yeah. been ironed, ironed by the wind and the sun. <laughs> and there was pale pink linen in there too. Oh, you probably get to wear a pale pink one, can you? <laughs> <laughs> but it was mostly white. Oh, and who it, knows who gets to wear pale pink? <laughs> We're all dressed in clean, fine white linen. Yeah. Maybe Molly gets to wear pink. <laughs> <laughs> but they were <coughs> no doubt prophetic and uh, having woken up today, I feel different. I feel... How? Positive, negative, di- different. Positive, positive, just different. Like, okay, <coughs> today, today is a different day. Today is not like any other day. So okay. today is the beginning of the end. Today is the day to begin to really get ready. People get ready. 